Okay guys, today I want to go over a couple roll-off trucks. Might actually do three. Let's see if I get in the body shop. There's one other and I have them in a couple different configurations that I wanted to show to you. So this one here, I'm not sure if it's a 2020 or a 2019. I believe it's a 2019 567. All the 2020 designations have come right after January 2nd. So if it's been manufactured after the second of this year, it would be a 2020 model. So a little bit of gray area there. 20,000 pound front Meritor axles on this truck with disc brakes. On this truck we're running a 12 liter Cummins X12 or ISX12, I apologize. I know people get real picky about that. 12 liter Cummins, 425 horse, 1650 to torque. This is running a heated fuel filter. And we're running 315 ADR 225s on the fronts on this truck. Dry weight on this truck is around 18.3. 100 gallon fuel tank. And you can see here 18,350. go into the interior here in just a second so this one is running a gal fab roll-off body and it is a 60,000 pound rated body a couple little things about these that I'll show you that might be a little bit different than what you've seen in the past is uh, I guess the owner of gal fab came from Galbraith so he has a lot of industry experience but one of the things that he did was is he built the roller system so that you could just pop them two bolts out and you can change out your rollers without having to you know do a bunch of different welding and so they're easy to replace on those and then up here uh, we got these set up for 22 22 foot containers but we also have the additional hooks and we can fabricate them in to run 20 and 18. So basically you'd be able to set the hooks and you can adapt these to run whatever size containers you guys like. And then one of the other claims to fame on these, I'll get to here in a sec, but um, they changed the tail a little bit more. And my understanding is, is that if you have to come into a container at a little bit more of an angle these are capable of handling it and you can kind of see this is always of course um, we're not the professionals you guys are so you know when it comes down to it your feedback is going to be really really important on this but I've heard great things about this hoist and you can see you got a panel plate ready there This truck is running a Hall Max 46,000 pound rear. So the overall truck is a 66,000 pound capacity. So and 22.5 rubber on the back. All LED lights all around. I believe it's a 358 rear gear ratio. This one is running Meritor fronts and Dana rears. And then of course you have your telescoping. There's another name for it, but it's slipping my mind right now. So this one we did the space saver battery box on top of the air tanks so that you'd have more room for toolboxes on the frame rail. And it looks like we went with a five inch stack on this one. A 
dual steering. So on this one guys, we are running a 13 speed Eaton Fuller automated transmission. I have another video on this. And anybody who has concerns about automated or questions about automated versus automatic, um, example would be an Allison. I'd love to talk to you about this. There, there's some great options here. And um, anybody who may have had one in the past who has any uh, questions or concerns, I'd like to have a little bit of dialogue with you because Eaton Fuller has made some phenomenal changes on these transmissions. And I think it's something that you guys could really get on board with. Um, especially if you haven't heard about some of the things that they've been doing with them. Full lockers, cross lockers, PTO. This one is running air ride suspension on the passenger seat as well. It's a prestige interior, Arctic gray. So I'm going to move on to the next truck guys. Um, this one, we haven't even got it finished yet, but I wanted to show it to you real fast. So I'm going to scoot over to that. Okay. So this is almost the exact same configuration as our 567. And I forgot to mention it's a 264 wheelbase. I'm not sure if I put that in there prior, but so this one is a 367. And as you can see, it is more of the classic style cab still running the 425 Cummins engine. Same wheelbase, same axle configuration. Everything is pretty much identical on this truck. With the exception of the uh, classic cab. See, they haven't even put the stack on it yet. So, a slightly different price point on this truck. It's got a little bit more of a hood. And we haven't we got it almost done. It's all bodied up, but as you can see, we need to do touch up on the paint and add some more items on here. So you guys are seeing it more or less in its raw form before it gets into the body shop for final PDI and paint. Okay. Just wanted to give you a quick peek in here. Show you inside the cab. Again, another 100 gallon tank. But as you can see, this one has the classic cab. So it's a little bit more narrow cab. And they did put vinyl seats on this one. And the passenger seat is fixed with a toolbox underneath. As you can see, on these 367s, they just got a little bit more of a hood to them. But this truck as well is running the Eaton Fuller Ultra Shift 13 speed transmission. So you can just see in the classic cab how it's laid out versus the column shifter. And there's another YouTube video on uh, that I did specific, specifically on the Packard 12 that you could take a look at. So I'm gonna go inside because we're actually putting one unit on in the body shop that it's, is an extended tail section. So I'm gonna show that to you, stand by. Okay, so I'm in our body shop now. And this is the one that we're bodying up right now with the extended stinger. A very experienced technician, his name is Victor in here. All these guys have some fantastic experience. Don't know if that helps you guys, but I just wanted to. This one has the pneumatic flip-up tail section. So, all right, guys, that's it for now. This one's actually a Galbraith, not a Galfab. 
60,000 pound rated. Just give me a call guys, if you have any questions on these or any other trucks, again my name is JW, Rush Truck Center, Southern Colorado. If you like these videos, go ahead and click on the button in the bottom right hand corner, we'd love to have you subscribe. If you'd like to call me direct, my number is 970-518-5520 and we'll talk soon, thanks.